I am. The Craft Dad. Now for the much anticipated glowing gems test, part two. In order not to burn out your LEDs, you want to do some planning. In the link below will be a link to the website that provides this nice schematic based off of the input that you have for your LEDs. If I ever forget what resistors I'm working with, I have this nice little chart provided by the manufacturing company that provided my resistors. One of the methods I'm doing is I'm sandwiching an LED between two pieces of foam. I'm doing this because I want the LED to illuminate the gems that I will be placing on both sides of the foam. So before I do this with the actual swords that I'm building, let's do a test piece. So as you see here, I'm filling the initial hole with hot glue because the hot glue is giving me the best diffusion for spreading out that LED light. I put the second piece of foam on top and I squirt in more hot glue. The LED is in the center of the foam. I'm using the wax paper set below it to see if this makes it easier to peel the hot glue off. As we know, foam is not very reflective. So I'm using scrap window tint here to line the holes that I've created in hopes that this adds more reflectivity of the LED light that's in the middle. As you can see here, my lovely assistant is helping me to fill the new holes with the reflective material inside. The hot glue doesn't melt the material because it has some heat resistance, so it, it, heat, so it stays nicely to the sides. We again put an LED in the middle and we pour more hot glue on top. The only thing about doing it this way is you need something heavy to hold the foam together while the hot glue dries. This does take several minutes, but as you can see here, the light glows nicely from the LED, and this is actually on both sides, not just the one side that we see. So next I add a little bit of more hot glue and I push on a gem. Yes, this is one of the gems that I've created for my sword project. As you can see, the gem is illuminated quite nicely. Next, we test it inside a dark area. As you can see, it is very bright. I had to cover the red light from my LED tester, but just looking at the gem, it glows very nicely in the dark. What you don't see is the LED hot point. Well, in the dark is always nice, but what about daytime? So here we are, we've got the garage open, we have the lights on, and you can clearly see the gems glowing. Now, granted, the camera does pick the, the glow up a lot better, and so they do look a little brighter than what they do to the naked eye. Thank you all for watching, and as always, like, share, and subscribe. And show me your own gems that you're creating.